Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel again and to another quick video. A few days ago, Manjaro announced that there is a new edition cooking up, which is the Manjaro Dipping Edition. It's not yet ready, it's still in testing, but you can download it and I will leave a link to it in the video description below so that you can try it out if you want to. Somebody in the comments reminded me about this and I decided to do a quick video before the weekend. So without further ado, let's check Manjaro Dipping Edition. So we are here on Manjaro Deepin. This is the latest community version of Manjaro. It's not yet officially out. The release is still on the works, as you can see also here on the title. And it was announced a couple of days ago from Manjaro Linux on Twitter. Somebody on the comments reminded me about this, so I decided to make a quick video about this version of Manjaro. So the Deepin version comes with the Deepin desktop environment version 20.0, which is the same version I installed on Arch Linux in one of the tutorials on the channel. Now let's have a quick tour here. We have here the Manjaro Hello window as is typical in a Manjaro installation. The system is already installed and we can choose, of course, also here the applications that we want to have in our system as we can in every edition of Manjaro. So let's close this up. And we have here the Deepin desktop environment. So as you probably already know, Deepin also provides its own Linux distribution. And we have the bar here, which is very similar to a taskbar, what we find, for example, also in Windows. And right now it's in fashion mode. But if we right click on the bar here, we can change this to efficient mode, which is going to drag the bar down here anchored to the screen. And it takes a little bit less space. And we have here, of course, our launcher with our applications. And just to remind you, this is still not the final version. Several things here are not working yet. For example, if I click here on one of these programs, like the software update, nothing is actually happening. So in order to use this, if you want to test this out, you need to go to the launcher and click the two arrows here to make the launcher smaller. And when you click here on one of the programs, it's going to launch fine. So let's close this up. We have also many other programs already installed here, as is typical in Manjaro. We have Firefox and we have also here the categories that we can scroll. So in Internet, we have Firefox. We have also the video category here with some utilities in here. And we have also the office category. LibreOffice does not come pre-installed here. You'll have to install this manually if you want to. And we have also the system. So let's go here in the control center. A small tour here for the settings in Manjaro Dipping Edition. Let's go to the system info here. We have the version, which is pre-1 Manjaro, with the system that I'm running on here. And we can also change then the preferences here on the side. So if we go, for example, to personalization, we can change also to the dark theme here. We can change also the window effect and the transparency in here, and also the window minimize effect. We can also change the icon theme. We have already several pre-installed here, the cursor theme, and also our fonts. We can go on here and configure other things as well. So let's close this up. On this side, we have here our icon tray that we can expand or contract. And we have here our tray with the icons for the clipboard, for the time and the calendar. We have a power menu here, our trash bin and our notifications. We can change the wallpaper here by right clicking on the desktop and go to set wallpaper and choose one of these. Let's say, for example, we'll choose this one. We can choose to have it only on the desktop or only on the lock screen. I'm just going to let it this way right now. And of course, because this is Manjaro, we have, of course, here our Manjaro settings manager where we can change our kernel and also our hardware configuration. So for the kernel right now, we have version 5.8.11-1, which is running and installed right now. But as usual in Manjaro, we can change the kernel to another one if we prefer to do that. So let's close this up and let's have a look at the terminal. And let's type in here your name, dash R, and hit enter. And you can see again here the kernel information. Now, if you type in here free dash H, you can see the memory in this machine is eight gigabytes. It's using right now around 553 megabytes of memory, which is not too bad. Now, there are still some bugs here. As I showed you already before in the previous launcher, you cannot actually open any applications from there right now. And if I click here on the settings in the terminal, sometimes it appears a black border here around, which is probably just an issue that is going to be corrected before the release is final. Anyway, this is a very quick tour of Manjaro Deeping Edition. It's a community developed edition. 
and it's going to be probably available very soon. And if you want to try it out, I will leave a link to it in the video description below that you can click, download the ISO and try it out for yourself. If you try it out, let me know what you think about it. I think it's great to have the deep in version of Manjaro as well. It adds to the many community editions available for Manjaro. And overall, I think the developers here are doing a great job in offering Manjaro in so many flavors. So there you go guys, this is a quick look at Manjaro Deeping Edition. The Deeping desktop environment looks very polished and it's very nice to have another flavor of Manjaro joining the family very soon. I'm looking forward to test the final version as soon as it comes out and when I will do that I will of course let you know. I hope you liked this video guys, if you did please hit the thumbs up and subs to the channel if you haven't already, subs always helps us out. And if you want to support the channel you can do so by visiting our Patreon website or you can donate via PayPal through our website as well. I wish you all a great weekend guys and I'll see you very soon in the next video.